today I will be showing you how to burn Super Nintendo ROMs on a disc and play them on your unmodded PS2 using Swap Magic, Action Replay, or Game Shark. Now, first thing you're gonna do is download Image Burn and CD Gen 2 and the SNES files. Those links to those downloads are on my description of this video. After you download that shit, go to your desktop, right click and make a new folder. Rename this folder ROMs. After you've done that, go on the internet and download some Super Nintendo ROMs from anywhere and, and save them to your ROMs folder. Next thing you need to do is you're going to extract CD Gen PS2 and open it up. Then go to the uh, SNES files, extract those, and open it up. Drag and drop system.cnf first, then scns, yeah, whatever. If you don't do it in that correct order, the games will not work. After that, right click on system.cnf, hit edit, check the fix LBA box, and then change the LBA to 12231, and hit OK. God, fucker. After you've done that, you're going to drag your ROMs folder from the desktop into CD Gen PS2. Then hit image. And you can rename it whatever you want. I'm just going to put in SNES ROMs. And save it to your desktop. It's easier to access. After that's done, you're going to extract and open up Image Burn. Now make sure your mode is in uh, right. Okay, after that, uh, browse. Hit browse. And find the image file that you saved on the desktop. And then uh, make sure your write speed is at 4x, and then hit write. I'm not going to actually burn it because I've already burned it. And after it's done, after it's done burning, you're finished.